Okay, what we're doing right now, we're going to be soldering these uh, steel nuts onto the copper bus uh, tabs for the, uh, the, the keg uh, system. Uh, we're going to solder it on the top to get uh, good electrical contact as well as keep the moisture out, keep it from corroding. And we're also going to turn it upside down and we're going to solder this nut to the, uh, the threads here because this is going to be sealing this uh, bolt through the uh, plastic, uh, basically a tubing which would act as a grommet. Uh, if you don't solder this nut here, it leaks. I've already pressure checked it today for checking other leaks and it was leaking here like a sieve. So that's got to get done. Uh, this is just temporary because we're going to be using copper. We got to order some copper. We didn't have time uh, for the test, but we're going to be ordering copper uh, uh, bolts and washers and nuts in the future for the next uh, improvement. But we're going to use this for now. You don't want to use stainless steel unless you can solder stainless steel with, uh, I guess, silver solder. I'm not sure. I've never done that. But I would prefer not to use stainless steel also because of the extra resistance you get from stainless. Uh, there you have it. You know, let's see how long it takes to keep the thing warm and turn it on high. There we go. We're also using uh, acid core solder <coughs> and not the regular electrical solder which has risen in it. <coughs> It's a lot of heat, so probably better to use a uh, little propane torch rather than this little micro torch. Probably a lot faster. Gas is cheaper too. It's starting to form. Yeah, it looks like that did it. And we're going to turn it upside down and do, yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. upside down. Now we're going to continue to heat that take advantage of this heat
Yeah, it looks like I did it. There you have it.